Hey guys, welcome to Voc Rehab Bootcamp. I am Nick the Vet. All right, today I wanna to talk to you guys about how to get the equipment and or supplies that you need from Voc Rehab. Um, some of you may have seen some of my past videos where I told you I got a $6,000 MacBook Pro, a $2,800 camera, a couple thousand dollars in lenses, I don't know, $700 in microphones and just a lot of stuff. A $1,100 ergonomic chair. Um, and people are like, how do I get that? And I want you to understand, you can really get anything that you need from Voc Rehab if you really need it. One guy recently emailed me to say he wants me to help him justify a $17,000 Mac Pro. Um, and even though he is in graphics, um, he's not doing the kind of graphics that require that kind of computer. Um, but you have to look at things realistically. You need stuff like that if you're animating hair or you're, you're doing stuff that renders for hours and hours and you need a lot of power and you need to be able to multitask. You can't do that on that $350 Lovato or Lovano. You can't do that. You can't even do that on a $1,300 um, Mac Air, MacBook Air. You really need something more robust. So if you're in graphics or film or television, you need stuff like that. And what you need to do is figure out what kind of work you're gonna be doing and then you can justify it. Now, if you just want a Mac and you really don't need a Mac, then probably the, the MacBook Air is all you really need. Can you justify a $6,000 MacBook when you're a, a um, poli-sci major? I don't think so. Because the letter I have on my website shows you guys the justification for getting a Mac versus a PC. If you don't know PC and you're only you're a Mac house, you don't really, you know, you don't know how to use a PC, whatever. Like I really don't. I used it years ago, but I haven't really messed with a PC in probably 15 years. I don't, I'll have a huge learning curve trying to figure stuff out on a PC. So that being said, the real answer is you have to justify it. Some people can't think outside of the box. So they don't know what to say. Here's a few things. Um, for example, let's say you have an, a service-connected disability or non-service-connected disability with your neck or your eyes, or you have vertigo, any one of those things, then you really might need something that supports your neck. You know, you can't just doing like this, looking at your monitor up and down can cause you to have a, a bout of vertigo or get a migraine or give you a whatever. That's justification for an ergonomic chair. Um, you have hip issues, back issues, knee issues, real stuff. You don't have to make things up. People ask me and I'm like, well, why do you think you need one? And they go, well, my back hurts. I go, there you go. That's what you put in the letter. So uh, something else is some people want an ergonomic desk that they can raise and lower. If you have a wheelchair, obviously that's something that you may need. Um, or if you have... Um, challenges where you have to put your chair up higher sometimes, lower sometimes, you just need some versatility. You can't sit still for long periods of time. That would, would justify ergonomic desk. Um, you may need to have your monitor mounted on the wall because you need to keep your head at a certain, you know, you may have some, I don't know if they're called pins or whatever, some things in your, your spine, your neck, and you know, you can't be doing like this and whatever. You need to be, you know, stationary. Um, pay for the mount on the wall. Um, what else? Um, this guy, I think I mentioned this in another video, he had an embroidering business and he needed the software to make certain types of embroidering things and it cost $3,500 and his, his, uh, VRC was like, that's too expensive. And I, he told me, I was like, she's a fat liar. Her, um, maximum per the M28R guidelines is $25,000 per year. And there's no such thing as too, too expensive. If he needs it to make money, then he can have it. Um, again, it's justifying it. If you just want it, please don't email me and ask me how to convince the VRC because I'm not I'm not here to, you know, teach people how to just suck the life out of the VA. There are things that I could have gotten from the VA that I didn't. And I'm not saying you shouldn't get everything you could get. But I could have got them to pay for my um, my internet. Um, I know a lot of people that get their internet paid for because they go to internet college, but my VRC, the one I got after I got approved, was like, but you were paying for that already, really. So should we really pay for that? And I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. They gave me so much. Um, not gave me, but I was able to get so much of the benefit of which I was entitled um, that I really didn't push. So 
what I want you to just remember when you're thinking about this stuff is think outside of the box. When they go, here's your little $300 computer, don't just go, thanks so much, and take your little printer. You need ink, you need paper, you might need pens, you might need a notebook, you might need a stand for your MacBook because I'm often sitting my MacBook on stuff because it's too low on my desk. Um, I didn't get them to, to buy me a stand, but you know I could have. Those are things that you can ask for because you need it. If you didn't have the service-connected disabilities that you have, you likely would not need all these accommodations and the money is there for the accommodations, okay? If there's anything that you want that's very, very expensive, you just have to justify it. I don't know that anybody except for a real high level animator, somebody who does character rigging or, you know, just seriously high level animation would need a Mac Pro. That's $17,000 for one computer. That is a lot. Um, yeah, and your warranty is only three years. And if that thing breaks after three years, who's going to pay for it after you're out of a rehab? It's just a lot. Another guy uh, recently emailed me and he wanted seven microphones. He he was in, in digital journalism, not film, but he basically had the same thing that I had on my list on my website and also had a bunch of other stuff. Don't ask for so much stuff that it pisses your counselor off and then they go, this guy's crazy. You want them to believe that you need this stuff. You don't really need seven microphones, okay? I don't care what kind of interview, on, on a standard everyday you know, situation for a student, you don't, you don't need seven microphones. But you do need two, you need a lavalier and a boom, or maybe two lives, whatever. But, um, or you know, a shotgun, whatever, but not seven. You know, if you're um, in, I don't know, if you're a seamstress, you know, you don't need, $100,000 sewing machine. I don't know how much sewing machines cost. But, you know, just be reasonable. If you need it and it costs 50000 ask for it. But if, if you could use a $25,000 one and, and get what you need from it, as opposed to asking for one that's 50000 you really don't need do that. Because not only, I'm not saying you're taking money from other vets. The money's there. What I'm saying is um, you want to get approved. So you don't want to ask for way too much and then she's suspicious or he's suspicious of you and then bring it down because it's like, you see, you're playing games. Ask for what you want. Think about what you want. Think about what you need in terms of furniture. Don't be sitting in your house doing your homework at your desk, at, at your um kitchen table. Get a desk, get a chair, get a monitor, get those things, okay? So if you have any questions, let me know. Again, justify it. You should be good to go. Thanks for watching. I'm Nick the Vet.